let me tell you that may have been my biggest mistake. Hey guys, my name is Michelle and welcome to The Weight of Things. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is talking to you guys about my experience doing a salt water flush. And it's supposed to be kind of a colon flush. Now, a salt water flush is really good for those people that are constipated or have problems kind of going to the washroom regularly. But as I mentioned, it also is something that cleans out your colon. Now, as we know, sometimes our colons, especially if you don't go to the washroom as regularly as you should, can hold on to a lot of waste. So what this flush is intended to do is you drink the salt water and basically it goes into your colon and it flushes everything out. Now, many people have reported that they have lost so much weight doing this salt water flush. Now, I was not interested in doing this flush for weight loss and the reason is because it's not actually losing fat. So yes, you are losing weight, but that weight is just waste that's been inside of your body. So it's not like you've lost any amount of fat so it's something that can easily go back on later on so basically it's waste and it's water weight that you're losing what I did want to do it for is just to kind of have a restart kind of flush out everything toxins people say that it can get rid of parasites and toxins if that is true there is a lot of um, videos and websites that do tend to say that I am not 100% sure but I just thought like doing a nice like cleanse and just kind of cleansing my body cleansing my colon getting everything out would be good on this weight loss journey however I watched an abundance of videos and there are many videos and websites that I watched even doctor websites and they didn't mention a lot of the things that I'm about to tell y'all in the side of this video but first let's get into my experience Okay, so I think I am about ready. I have five minutes to drink all of this water. I'm definitely very nervous. It's warm, it's supposed to be warm, so we'll see what happens. And I have five minutes in which to drink it, so I'm gonna just put on a five minute timer and um, hope that I can get it all down in five minutes. It is so gross. Ugh. So I have this much left, and so I think I'm just gonna pour in the rest of the water now, and then stir it in there. I think the lemon definitely helps, because if there was no lemon and it was just this salt water, like, I'm trying to hold it down and not throw up. It tastes really gross. I'm just gonna try and get through this really quickly. I only have 3 minutes and 41 seconds left, so... It doesn't taste like seawater. I heard some people say that it tastes worse than seawater. I don't think it tastes worse than seawater, but I think also because the water is warm, it, it magnifies the taste of the salt. I think the lemon kind of helps. I think if there was no lemon, I'd probably throw it. My stomach is starting to feel full from drinking this amount of water. Okay, I got two minutes and 41 seconds left. Oh, Lord have mercy. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, now at this point, I'm just trying to keep it down. I'm trying not to throw up. I feel like it's getting hot in here. I'm trying not to throw up. This much left. I'm doing pretty good. Two minutes and 14 seconds. I did hear somebody throwing up while doing this, so I'm just hoping it won't be me. I can 
feel myself starting to burp and everything. So like, I'm just praying that it stays down for the half an hour. I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't know if I should be drinking it slower, faster. Like, I don't even know. Like, I just, I'm worried that if I drink it too fast that I'm gonna throw it up. I'm worried that if I drink it too slow that I'm just prolonging the disgustingness. <sighs> Almost done. Almost done. I probably got like, okay, I got like a, a minute and 35 seconds, so. It's all done. Now, according to the recipe that I'm following, um, I'm supposed to go and lie down now, um, trying to keep it to not go to the washing yet for half an hour. So I'm gonna go in my bed and lie down, and um, the one that I'm following says that you should lie down on your side and kind of rub your stomach. I guess it's kind of rubbing everything down. So I'm gonna go and do that right now. Um, and try to not go to the washroom for half an hour because it says to try to hold it in for half an hour. So I'm gonna go and head downstairs and do that right now. I was able to hold it in for 30 minutes. So I did hold it in for the 30 minutes and then I went to the washroom. Um, this might be TMI. It was kind of a lot. Um, and then I only went to the washroom like once after that. I watched videos where people were like how they went to the washroom like every five minutes after the first time. That didn't happen to me. I went to the washroom. I didn't have to go to the washroom again until like maybe 45 minutes after the first time. It wasn't as much as the first time. And then I kind of like would feel my stomach kind of like bubbling up, like not in a painful way, but like, you know, you could just feel something like rumbling around in your stomach. But I didn't really feel like I had to go to the washroom again. And now it's been like, you know, a few hours and I don't really feel anything going on at all. So at this point I'm hungry and I'm gonna go and eat because I just, I'm just not sure this is working for me. Like, you know, um, it's kind of disappointing because I was kind of excited to kind of do this cleanse and like get my colon cleaned out. And I, at this point, would have probably preferred to be like in the washroom all day. Like, you know, at least I would feel like something happened, you know, after drinking all of that. I went to the washroom once after that and then that was pretty much it. And now it's been a few hours and nothing has happened. And at this point... I'm gonna go and eat because I don't see anything happening and they said normally can last for about four hours I'm getting close to the four hour mark and nothing else has happened. So I am a bit disappointed Um, I don't know if my colon is cleansed. I don't know because you know I it's hard to imagine that having never really done a cleanse before that um, My colon could be completely cleansed after going to the washroom one time um, I guess it's possible. I have no idea though Okay guys, so my overall thoughts on the salt water flush is this. Number one, I will say that, and there's an abundance of people that have mentioned this, that yes, drinking the salt water flush does make you feel nauseated. Um, I felt like I was gonna throw up while I was drinking it, after I drank it, for a good while I felt like I wanted to throw up. Do I feel like the salt water flush worked for me? I would say yes and no. And the reason why I would say yes and no is simply because did it make me go to the washroom? Yes. Um, I essentially went to the washroom four times that day and that is not my regular. However, um, one thing that I would say is, is that the first time I went to the washroom was shortly after drinking it. So like after half an hour. A lot of the videos and stuff that I watched said that you would feel this sudden urge to go to the washroom like you had to run to the washroom. That did not happen for me. Now, when I was sitting there, I kind of felt like I wanted to go to the washroom, but it wasn't like, you know, like this, like I need to go right now. I need to like, where's the washroom kind of thing. And um, the website that I got my um, ingredients and stuff off of said that you should hold it in for at least half an hour. So I wanted to wait for the 30 minutes. So after the 30 minutes passed, I didn't have that like, urge that much to go to the washroom anymore so I did just go because like you know I I knew that I did have the urge before so I just decided to go and I was able to go to the washroom this is like TMI but you guys need to know this so that when you try it you know what to expect the next time I went to the washroom was an hour later and it was not like you know the whole washroom didn't blow up okay for a lack of words and trying to keep this a little bit you know so I went to the washroom after the hour and then nothing happened after that. 
and basically you have to do this flush on an empty stomach so I did it when I woke up in the morning I didn't have anything to eat and then afterwards uh, I drank it went to the washroom still didn't have anything to eat because a lot of the videos and websites that I looked at they didn't mention about eating the only thing they mentioned was not to eat before doing it or at least like wait two hours after eating they didn't say anything about eating afterwards so I wasn't sure like was I allowed to eat or not so I kind of waited for like another hour so at this point it had basically been three hours since I first drank it and I was just really hungry and nothing else was happening and I was told that sometimes it could last for four hours and you're going to the washroom so when it got to about a little bit after three hours I was like you know what nothing's happening it must be done either this didn't work for me or my colon is completely cleansed now I'm going to go and eat let me tell you that may have been my biggest mistake now after doing this and going back to go and research specifically about eating after this flush I realized that a lot of people recommend that you do not eat until eight hours after taking this flush. Now, first of all, I did not know that. So that would have been a full day of fasting, probably something that I would have liked to know. Um, when I did eat, let me tell you, okay, my stomach was bubbling up. Like, I don't know what was going on in there, but everything was just bubbling up so much. And I went to the washroom two times after I ate, like pretty much right after I ate within five minutes, I had to go to the washroom. And then afterwards I had to go to the washroom again. Um, so that was the four times that I went to the washroom. But can I just say that nobody told me that number one, I should not eat. <laughs> I should not eat afterwards like at all within even not even within a few hours after but secondly nobody told me that my stomach was going to be bubbling and that I was going to be full of gas and that is why I am not entirely sure that this worked fully for me the reason I say that is because as I said my stomach was bubbling up I was full of gas and I am not like a burping person I don't really burp but that whole night I was burping I was my stomach was just rumbling it wasn't hurting it was just bubbling up like you could just feel it like it was unsettled I started to actually get scared that I like ruined my digestive system because I've never had my stomach bubbling up like that forever so I was like what is happening like should I have done this or whatever and and the thing about it is, is that a lot of people reported feeling empty I didn't feel empty as a matter of fact when I ate even before that actually I just still felt full like I still felt like my body was full that's why I don't know if this flush fully worked for me because I still felt very heavy still felt very full um as I mentioned a lot of people reported about having 10 pound weight loss seven pound weight loss I checked the scale before I did it I checked the scale after I did it I only lost 0.2 pounds so not even a full pound not even half of a pound so Again, like that's just my experience. I can't talk for anyone else's experience. I just don't know if it works for me. And one of the things that I kind of realized and that I'm kind of thinking about is that just like for water intake, it depends on your size. Like if you're a bigger person, you may need to drink more water than for the day than somebody that's smaller. And I'm starting to wonder if that is the situation with this salt thing. So there's two things that nobody told me that I want to tell you. I've already told you a few of them, but there's two more things. Number one, as I said, I definitely think that the whole salt situation, maybe I needed to have a little bit more than two teaspoons. Um, I did end up seeing a recipe afterwards where they did three teaspoons and so I am thinking of wanting to do this again it won't be for another month I will give my body a little bit of a you know a break um, but when I do do it again I am going to do it with three teaspoons of salt this time and so I'm really hoping that that is going to cleanse everything out this time the other thing that nobody mentioned to me was that when I would look on the websites even the doctor websites they said use salt that does not have iodine in it and then they would say salts like pink Himalayan salt and so I normally use pink Himalayan salt anyways um I was actually out of it so I'm like okay let me go to the store and buy some more pink Himalayan salt one thing that nobody told me is is that pink Himalayan salt some of them do have iodine in it I did not know that as a matter of fact even the Costco brand there are two different ones one that has iodine in it and the other one that doesn't Everybody just said pink Himalayan salt. So that's what I went and got and just assumed that all pink Himalayan salt does not have iodine. 
No, that is not the case. Some of them do. And so you need to be sure that you're getting the one that does not have iodine. Now, the salt that I got doesn't say whether or not it does. So I'm just assuming that it does because I know that from the research that I have done, if you have the salt that has iodine, your body just absorbs the salt instead of making it go through your body and flushing everything out. So I'm assuming that maybe that's why I was still feeling very full. Maybe that's why my stomach was bubbling up and everything is because it didn't, I don't think my colon got completely cleansed. One last thing that I would like to say though, what you should also be doing is ensuring that you are drinking lemon water afterwards, continuously drinking water and drinking lemon water. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be drinking after that. So I just didn't drink anything, but apparently continuing to have warm lemon water afterwards also helps everything to kind of flush out. So that is something that I will also definitely do my next time going around. So did it work? Yes. Do I think it worked properly? Probably not. I will be trying it again. Did I see results? I lost 0.2 pounds. So I guess you can call it a result. Um, do like, was it completely horrible? I don't think the taste is completely horrible, but you're taking in a lot of salt. And so, yeah, it was definitely, you know, I definitely felt like I was going to throw up while I was drinking it. And even afterwards, if you like, you saw the clip, I'm just like, <sighs> like just trying to make sure, just trying to keep it down, trying to keep it down. I succeeded in that, but I will be trying it again. So make sure that you press that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can get notified of every time that I create a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.